So it'll be like a different monster appears depending on the difficulty. Does that yeah. make sense? I like that. Yeah, yeah. I do it a lot in Doom. They'll, they'll it's like the same function. Mm -hmm. It's just different difficulty levels. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, a lot more smart than Anthem. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, Anthem. Health bars. Oh Jesus. Which one are you? Are you up here? Yep. Okay, okay. So, so this is the thing up here. Are we supposed to be able to get up here? Because I saw yep. uh, on your three views. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's like a secret. Yeah. It's sort of like a mini secret, though. Like, you might see the the loot uh from down here. Like, you might be able, you might see it, like looking up. And you might see that there's like loot up there. But there's also a couple of demons, you know. And those are going to be kind of hard to uh, fight for some people because they're not going to have, not everyone's going to have a gun that's accurate enough, and these demons are kind of high up, and they're just going to be nailing you with fireballs. You know how fast their fireballs are. They can do it over here too, yeah. So um, I'm thinking maybe, hmm, I don't know, I mean, like, two of them is I'm a bit much, right? It's like cover. I think like right here is kind of the best cover, but that's if I kind of squiggle into it a little bit. I'm thinking what most players will do is they'll. It, this actually is kind of creating a bad situation for most players because what'll happen is most players are looking this way. They're gonna come up this uh thing and they're gonna be looking in this direction, and they're not gonna be looking up there, obviously, because they're gonna be like focused on this. Uh, this is a chain gunner guy over here. So you're going to be like dealing with this chain gunner guy and you're going to be getting shot in the back of the head by these two demons that are up there. And maybe that's not cool. Maybe that just sucks. Maybe that's not fun. I don't know. Well, I know like you're going to come around this corner and you're going to deal with this guy. So that's one thing to deal with. And then you come out here into this zone, you see those guys, and then you have a second thing to deal with behind you. Yeah, I'm thinking most players are legit just going to get shot in the back of the head. Yeah, I know that I was. I would, if I was coming out here, I would definitely yeah. get kind of rained down by those guys. Yeah, it would just it you're would not, just be like you're right up as you come out of here because you deal with that guy. You're not looking up there because you have this this spike in your way, so it doesn't feel like a solid wall. You kind of glance up the side. Mm, yeah. Well, is those enemies up there are definitely not being framed very well. Like, there's not even a chance that the player has to has to see them you know what i mean like there's there's no way like it's basically we're we're taxing the player like 15 percent of their health as soon as they just yeah. enter this room <laughs> that's what i was thinking too i was looking like the only thing i have over here is an armor and i'm probably gonna have a, a good hard time just from this guy around this corner and a couple of things in there so i come out here and i'm ready to deal with these guys i'm gonna you know i'm gonna clutch and suddenly i'm getting rained down on my back yeah, yeah, and this guy, this guy here, he's no joke. He, you know, those chain gunner guys, they can, they can kill you in like two seconds, even with the new health system. You know. So like, probably as soon as I see that guy, I'd probably even retreat, retreat your back here, so I could get some, uh, some cover, which might work against those guys that probably took away some of my health. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'm trying to. I'm just trying to imagine. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe what you're saying is actually right. Like, here's another. This is another one of those examples, but this one isn't as bad. But like, a lot of players will probably just be cautious about how they step forward, which then becomes tedious, right? Because it's like, especially if they respawn, you know, if you die and then you have to fight them all over again. Now I gotta, I gotta go up here. <laughs> I gotta go up here. Okay, there's a dude up there. Shoot him for a little bit. And then now there's a dude here. You know, like, it's maybe it becomes kind of tedious. This area is... It does seem like the difficulty is a bit high. Because as soon as you get this guy, and maybe these guys, as soon as you get around this corner, these guys seem to be a little bit more manageable. Yeah, these guys are... Dealing with the, the eye demon, dude. Yeah. Even on the hardest difficulty, I mean, it doesn't make an excuse to make it tedious, right? Like... Maybe the eye demon yeah. dude doesn't need to exist. Maybe this is a bit much. This is like I, no, I'm I'm just thinking the guys from the back. That's the only real thing of this little zone that I think is kind of a difficulty. Like if 
that would be a little bit more manageable if I could get some cover. But I don't see any place besides right, right here. All right, so I, cover from them. I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's see if we can solve this um, by making it so this guy's on a lower platform, like he's he's standing on something that's not quite as high up. So like. And then raise this. So we get this so that it's like kind of like up here. What's up, Chronic? Hey. What's going on, Chronic? What are you guys up to? We're building levels. <laughs> nice. You should see this actually. This is pretty crazy. So far, it's working out. Pretty awesome. So let's. Yeah, like, so you'll see that guy, and you'll be able to focus on him. Then you, then yeah. You, and if you come around the corner, then you see that guy. You're like, oh shit, this is, this is, fucked up. And but yeah, at least you're not getting fireballs completely rained on you from a place that you can't. Yeah, yeah. You're not getting shot in the back of the head. You know, like actually, that's that's actually a lot better. Now I wonder if we've created a new problem though, because a lot of players, what they're gonna do is they're gonna do this, and they're gonna mm -hmm. see, they're gonna see that there's. The thing up there that they can grab, and they're gonna be like, "Why can't I get up there? This game sucks." Yeah. <laughs> Guarantee you, like right here, well, like. What if? What if we just take this wall, and we move it out a little bit? Like we've got some cool terrain here, but I just I want to be able to see up here just a little bit better. If I could see, like this is a you know the, this is the side where all the drainage comes out for the sewage, and you look up and you see enemies on top of there. Uh, mm. So like, it would be a bit so like, I rebuild the the wall, so that yeah. it, so that it's out more. I don't know. That might make this a little tight coming out this way. Well, I mean, I, I, just just mm. visually, you don't need to pull the wall out, like the spike right here. I think oh, okay. The spike could be moved, maybe even further inside. Just so. I just want some so here's how here's how you move the spike. Eyeballs. Go into meshes mode and hold down shift and left click it. And you'll be able to drag it around to wherever you want to put it. Oh, Press R to it. rotate. Okay. I was thinking. I hope I'm not like way up in the wall. Did I click it? Okay. As long as it's not jutting in the. No, yeah, you're fine. So kind of like I'm that, huh? This a little bit. I'm gonna pull it. Cause I like that there. That's cool. I just want. Yeah. A little bit more visual on where mm. those guys are walking on that wall. Yeah, this this that gives, that gives that gives me the player more control over it instead of having something just kind of uh, pop up in front of me. What about this guy up here? This guy? He's probably f see. He's like he's like a a spooky one. He's the one that you don't know is there. I think he's more fine because you you'll come around here and you'll hear him and then you'll be like oh god but you can get yeah. out of his line of sight the spike yeah. right here lets you get out of there and you can deal with him these guys it's just there was nothing you could really do they just kind of had a good eyeball over the whole battle. yeah yeah that that these guys up there they were like you know they were just going to be drilling players in the back of their head the whole time and now this evil eye that's over here you see this guy. Oh, did you put him up top? I think I just put it. Yeah, I'm putting him back because I think he's. I think he's fine being on top. Oh, you think so? Oh, because it, because of the spike, so we don't need that ledge at all, do we? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's uh -oh. what I was thinking. Like, I want. I think it's fine for him to be up there. It's just, I just need some sort of cover. I want something right here on this terrain to be a little bit taller, so I can get around the corner because it'll give me some flow instead of falling back constantly this gives me a sense that i can smash into the middle of these guys deal with them either close quarters or run by them and get on top of here you know just just do crazy yeah. call of duty stuff i see i see so you, you think right here so is he more visible looks like you'd see you about here here's here's what he's going to do though he's going to be over here like he spawns here but He's going to be aware of you. He hears your gun, you know, whenever you fire your gun and stuff. So, like, he's going to actually be bunched up in, in an awkward spot, like, right over here. Like, I mean, we could probably... 
change this so that that doesn't happen though here let's uh actually we let's make sure that this guy is not going to be like taxing the player in the back of the head <laughs> yeah. all right yeah yeah let's see i can i can let's see uh maybe maybe if this was kind of like a a wall like this maybe we grab yeah this. the angle that would work better for how the architecture is going anyways yeah yeah all the architectures get this kind of angle so like maybe it can go as far out as this mm, let's see Um, I think I can go a little bit further. Oh, okay. I'm standing right here. As soon as I get, like, visual up there at all, the visual... Like, come over here where I'm standing. Yeah. As soon as you look around that corner. Yeah. Yeah, you, you see the top of his head for sure. Like, a lot of players are going to see him. In fact, he's he's probably going to be on this. <laughs> he's he's going to oh. bunch himself, and he's going to be standing there like this, doing that, doing the shuffle. Okay, let's see if we can move this. Oh god. Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of weird when you select stuff because it snaps to you. You can use uh if you press Z it turns off that that lock, but you got to be conscious that it's on because it'll uh disable your ability to rotate stuff with the R key. Let's see. Okay, hold on a second. Oh god. <laughs> How do I delete? Do I just press delete? Yeah, uh, you just uh, be very careful not to delete the train, though, because okay, I don't have a lock it. turned on. Okay. So be extra conscious. Got it. So let's see. I want to see what this looks like. So come around the corner. That spike completely. Here, I'm going to move the spike down a little bit further. So the spike oh, is got. <laughs> Hawkins. Hey, Hawkins. Is Hawkins in here? Oh, he is. Yeah, sure, I'll play <laughs> Hawkins. Are you guys watching the stream? This is actually yeah, kind of interesting. Yeah, this is like, actually, I want to keep doing streams like this. <laughs> I want to keep doing stuff like this. It's definitely really fucking cool to not just be doing stuff alone, you know? To like have people working together and like talking about solving problems. Like this is actually legit. I don't, I like this. Uh. Like I can just I can't want to like completely normal. What's that? Was that chronic? Was that some Hawkins over playing roll queue or competitive? Oh. Um, no, 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 really. All right, now I'm, I'm oh, just, yeah. I'm just streaming dev stuff right now. It's okay. Uh, so you think this is good? Like, so like if you... I, that's what I was gonna say is I kind of just want to get rid of the spikes because I'm looking for a place that works artistically and functionally and. Yeah, go ahead, get rid of it. it. Take it out. Sometimes spikes like, just don't work. I like work. the idea of being able to like cover fire right here. Like, even if I don't have a long range gun, I'm I'm probably gonna try to do that. You know, if this guy's if this guy's gonna be up in this corner, like we know he's just gonna be here anyway. We might as well just put him. You know, put the spawn yeah. there. You know, he's <laughs> gonna be in that weird spot. But that's a good spot. I mean, look at this. Come down here. Yeah. He's a nice little ledge. Yeah, yeah. Actually, this isn't too bad of a spot to fight that guy. I mean, some some weapons won't really be accurate enough, but I'm, I'm thinking if you got an assault rifle or something, you can take that guy out pretty easy. Now, yeah. I'm kind of worried a little bit about this evil eye, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he's just chilling out over there, and you know what he's going to be doing the whole time. He's going to see you from like a zillion feet away, and he's just going to be spawning monsters and shit. Maybe he only spawns on a harder difficulty, I don't know, but he feels pretty awkward. Maybe if... <laughs> um, let me see, maybe maybe if he's like not in, in view or something, like... Yeah, like, 
he could kind of still, like, if you try to come up here or something, like, he'll still see you. And those guys are dangerous. Like, but maybe that's fine. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't want him to... I don't want the evil eye to, like, be a super huge problem when you're dealing with the Void Bomber over here. Like, like you come up this this, this uh, section right here, and, um, you know, it's it's like it's like a Void Bomber and an evil eye. <laughs> Maybe it's just Revulsion difficulty stuff. I'll just, uh, I'll put it up to, uh, I think three is the highest difficulty. So it's normal, zero is normal. Um, one is hard, three, uh, two is epic, and three is revulsion. So, three, don't spawn if below. Eh, maybe this could be epic. I'll just do a two. So I'm putting the spike here so I have a little bit more cover when I go yeah. around the corner. If if I don't deal with him. Because it gives me some some confidence that I can get into the world and stay there. Yeah. Well this 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 grouping of enemies right here, this is a grenadier. Those are the fat guys with the grenade launchers. Oh. He's gonna be he's gonna take a lot of your time to kill because you're gonna be like doing this and trying to dance around his grenades the whole time. So he might get in the way of trying to do that. Maybe maybe that's too too much. These demons are super fast though. So what the demons will end up doing is they'll they'll be out all the way over here by the time. You know what I mean? Also, these guys aren't set to ambush. I forgot to set them to ambush. Okay, so they can hear you fire your gun at certain distances, and if they hear you fire your gun, that means that they will be immediately alerted. Like, um. As though they saw you. If you put them to ambush, they won't react from sound. They'll wait until they see you visually before they actually get pissed off. And a lot of these guys are going to have to do that. They're going to they're going to have to be set to that. Making this too high up. There. Much better. Not like a climbable thing either. Here, let me, let me, let me see. Like, all right, so you get a little bit of a Y, right, and then move it down on the Z. Oh, okay, I see. There you go. That's all you need to do. It, now, if you were, des now, if you were level designing alone, moving that pipe might have taken you like thirty or forty minutes to figure out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I've had so many of those moments in the past where, like. Level design alone is kind of like fighting against the entire world all by yourself. Fuck, what are these bastards? So where should, where should we get this light? Okay, I think I got my so we do, have, we do have like sunlight coming through, but is that really what we want? We want the, do we want the sunlight? It from here looks cool. Mm. Some natural light. I actually kind of feel a little bit like maybe maybe just some regular artificial light is probably fine. Like, put a ceiling on this and kind of call it. These are interesting right. pipes. Let's see. I think I'm gonna put some crates. Let me get some crates. Ceiling, ceiling sounds good. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense actually. So, uh, castle in the pause menu, I only see uh, Look. return to game options, save game title screen, exit. Battle Doge says, well, what's going on in here? Hey, Doge, this is the level editor, man. We've, um, I you should see multiplayer. Is, complete. is there like an alpha setting you need to apply in Steam? Nope. That I'm not on, on barrels. Nope. On barrels. On barrels. You should see multiplayer. Wait, wait. Manage mods did and multiplayer. Download, did you download the thing? Yeah. The newest one. Download what thing? You just download the. I gave you a link to download. Oh, oh you're that, you're actually. I thought, it, I thought you just sent me the IP info. No, no, no. Oh, the editor's a separate thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You, you were. Where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> that I didn't know. 
All right, so let me let me fix the light bleeding in. So uh, Doge, um, Doge is in chat. Uh, yeah, we're all we're all building a level right now. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> we got like five people. We got like a ton of people. <laughs> okay. So I've I never seen anything like this in my life, by the way. Battle Doge says, "Are y'all stress testing it or and or just seeing what the editor is capable of so far?" Both. Both. Yeah, we've been building stuff. So you guys can hear the text editor. That's kind of funny, yeah. actually. So you can see my, yeah. you can hear my chat, basically. That's kind of that's <laughs> actually that's accidentally doing? convenient. <laughs> God damn it, Zombie! I like what you're building. This looks like the like a, the window wall of a brewery. Huh. Doge, you want to join? I can give you the info. I don't know at what point this is gonna freak out on us, but I I do want to stress test. I'm kind of surprised at this point now. So, oh, I haven't saved in a while. Oof. Okay. Well, it autos uh, it auto saves it auto saves. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, how many uh how many backups do we have now? We have forty three backups. That's six hundred and eighty four kilobytes each. Battle Doge says, "Sure, man." All right. Yeah. Let me give you the let me give you the info. In place so uh doge you can edit now and hawk now be extra careful around terrain because if you accidentally select terrain that can cause a huge problem so you have to be super duper careful about that um, all right there's going to be a um there's going to be a lock mechanism where we can lock meshes so that you can't manipulate them by accident but that doesn't exist yet and terrain is super hard to place correctly. Like, if you move it, it'll never be put back to where it was. Gotcha. So is there a goal here, or are we just, like, kind of goofing around? I, I, don't I think we're just I mostly goofing around. People, but I see All right. that people are there. Yeah, um, uh, for me, I can see everybody, but for some weird reason, there's a replication error. Yeah. Across other clients. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing it All properly. Right. Question? What's up? Um, what interactions... Is there only one interaction, and that's fast travel? Uh, fast travel node is a start uh, point. Is actually like, um, there's there's more there's more. If you go four, uh, you should be able to press E, and you should see the list. Of, there's a full list of interactives up there. So, you have doors, doors that only open with specific keys, a floor switch, vending machine, jump pad, and a a standard fort area. Now, fort areas won't happen until the sequel. Fort areas are going to be where we can actually build our forts in game. Okay. So the idea is that in Revulsion 2, it's going to be built to be more open ended, kind of like Seven Days to Die or something like that. And, and you can fortify areas yourself. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So expect the same kind of combat that Revulsion already has, um, you know, refined, but um, you'll be able to actually build forts and get loot together and my goal is to have a game that works exactly like what we're doing like right now where you know 8 to 12 people can just jump in and we can just play you know what i mean all right don't mind me over in this corner i'm just going to figure out what the fuck i'm doing without ah. risking messing everything up over there <laughs> i so see actually so castle i wanted to know if you okay yeah yeah cuz i, I want to know kind of how you want to play out okay yeah yeah let me let me get a terrain let me get a terrain piece in here all right. Oh, this is cool. So the way I design this is unintentional. The way I design the flooring, if you jump down or fall down, there's no way to get back up. The only way to. Uh, I believe you just have to go and spectate move and fly your way back up. Yeah, you have to. It's. Uh... I'm saying if you're actually playing it. Oh no! Uh, you die if you fall. Uh, if you're in combat mode and you fall a certain distance, it'll just kill you. But um, since you're in the editor, it. It just lets you fall forever. Be careful about that, by the way, because it's pretty awkward. Um, Is this too high up? Uh, yeah, that's way too high. Hold on a minute. Let me let me adjust this. Let me adjust this. Also, uh, those ramps are for uh, um, more like gothicy stuff. And one of the things that I want to do with this map is we start off in the military base sort of structure, and then. Um, and then we we move into a you know an old like gothic castle kind of a thing. 
Uh, so we end up with a structure that's a little bit more. Be sure to manage your sight lines. You don't want to see other parts of them. Yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll have to be careful. Like, let's see. Whoa, what we got here? Okay, so that's a big flat wall right there. <laughs> All right. I can't figure it out on my own. Okay, all right. How, uh, do I, how do I spawn a mesh that I've selected? Okay, so uh, when you have a mesh, uh, Hawk, come over to me. Oh, wait, you can't uh, see me. I don't me. know which one it is. Yeah, you. shit. Um, um, you see where I am. So yeah, yeah, I, I see. Move up and down like I am. Okay, I'm right in front of you. Okay. Okay, i got to fix that replication error. <laughs> you should be able okay. to... So, I guess if you're a builder, you don't need really to be look custom, but you should be able to assign colors. To so, uh, not just that. I guess uh, like assign colors, but um, if you uh, if you press tab, you'll have a mesh builder in front of you, right? And if you if you have E up, you can select which kind of mesh you want to select. Oh, okay. The the tab was this portion I was missing. Yeah, the zombie right here. He's got a target name. Oops, he's got a target name of E. Ambush okay. zero 01. It's supposed to be Ambush. His target name is Ambush zero 01. By the way, I still remember your feedback on this, uh, uh, Doge. You're right. It would be better if it, like, showed a list of, um, viable stuff, um, instead of, like, doing it this way. Um, but this is, this tends to be a, like, a really simple way to do it as well, though. But, okay, so Ambush zero 01 is the target name of this object. And if you look at the trigger, if you go in the trigger mode, you'll notice that. <clears throat> The trigger has an ambush zero one target. If you can see past the uh, <laughs> the names, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see it right now. <laughs> Underneath target name is target, and that's ambush zero one. So when the player bumps into this tr trigger, anything with the target name of ambush zero one will then be tar uh, triggered. So this spawn point is, this spawn point is set up so that it doesn't have an auto active. So the auto active is off. And that means that the only way for the monster to spawn is for the uh, target name to be uh, triggered with Ambush 01. So the trigger is now firing this monster spawner, right? And this is going to spawn a uh, zombie security, right? So if we give the um, zombie security spawn point a uh, target name or a, a target of Ambush... Zero one kill, right? What that's going to do is when the zombie dies, it's going to target the counter, which is over here, right? And this counter has a target name of ambush zero one underscore kill, right? Now, how many do we want it to count to? We want it to count to four. And then it has a target, a counter target. You see, right. And then the counter target will fire the multi manager, which then, well, it doesn't even need to be a multi manager. It could just be anything. Actually, we can just spawn a bunch of, you know, and we can. Uh, so after four monsters die with that, with the ambush underscore zero one, or ambush zero one underscore kill, that will set off this target, and it'll fire the target name for counter target and which will be ambush zero two do you see how this is like being set up so like it kind of just goes through so after you kill four so you walk into this and you kill four of these guys so let's uh let's duplicate this guy a couple of times i'm gonna just do them and right and there's already one up here i don't know who placed him but so you see like there's 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 four enemies there's a there's a, a spike <laughs> It's so chaotic. <laughs> okay, uh, I've never actually experienced anything like this before. This is pretty crazy, actually. Okay, so um, <laughs> there's just like stuff flying around. Um, Harblow says, "I'm a small publisher. Can you support?" I'm a small publisher. Can you support? What does that even mean? Anyway, um, so yeah, so like when these four guys die, that'll set the counter to fire off its target, which then can spawn another another four dudes somewhere else and then we can we can kind of have it like you know s uh, sprawl for a little bit like where it's like okay those four you know like those six dudes die and now we can spawn another six dudes you know what i mean so we have okay. to we have to have 
So it, it kind of just keeps going through um, as they each die. Um, so more will spawn. As yeah. So more. Down. Yeah. So so we have basically a a basic ambush sequence, right? Got it. Now a multi manager is a little bit different. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Half Life or like um, uh, yeah, like uh, you know, multi managers are Half Life scripting terminology. They're right. basically yeah, I mean, they're basically a way to have delays. So instead of a triggered relay, you'd use like one multi manager, and you put in how many seconds you want it to take before it fires its target. Sumo Wish says, isn't the publisher supposed to support the developer? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know. I think it was just like poor English or something. I don't go. I have no idea. It's weird. So, <laughs> um, so like. With a multi-manager, you're actually saying how many seconds it'll take before it fires each of its different targets, and it can have four of them. And you can actually chain, like, five multi-managers together to do, like, really complicated random stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. But in this particular case, it's like, um... Uh... Like, in this particular case, it's like... We only want to do, like, the one, because it doesn't have to be that complicated. I'm not even really sure. I'm actually, like, my brain's exploding. There's so much stuff going on. I'm not used to this. Oh. <laughs> what's going on over here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Is this Hawk over here doing all this? Yeah. Actually, maybe what we'll I'm, do... I'm kind of familiarizing myself with the controls and everything. Maybe what we'll do is we'll use his area for com for combat instead, <laughs> instead of this terrain. <laughs> Because he's already building the whole thing over here. He's got this, like, big yeah, space. Yeah, I mean, I, I did some level design for that game jam, so... Here we are. Okay, all right. Kind of rolling through and seeing what I can do. All right, let me start bringing this stuff over. The, well... The duplicate method is really intuitive. I like that. Like, I didn't so really have to the whole that. trigger over did. here. Yeah, I just grabbed That's the trigger. Big blue thing. Right. That's the trigger. <laughs> he stole it. <laughs> yeah, there's just randomly a trigger here. Wait, wait, wait. Did you wait you were still building an area over here? Well here's the here's the idea. Actually maybe it's maybe it's a good idea that we do use the terrain over here because box looking thing. Okay, so that's a uh that's a trigger that is a uh counter. Uh, that's, oh, a okay. that's a that's okay. that's a multi manager there. I, I didn't I, it didn't give me any info when I hovered over it like it did everything else. I was confused. Yeah, you have to be in the specific mode, I guess. Um, it'll actually say, oh, like... Oh, hold on. It, you said it's a trigger, so I go into... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So you can see that's a multi-manager. Okay. And a yeah, counter. Yeah, So, right, so with those... What, I'll just kind of keep doing what I was doing, kind of building a little scene area, and then you guys can fill this in with whatever makes sense. Yeah. Now, the only problem with that, um, there is one thing that we do need to correct, and this is actually going to be kind of a pain. Sergeant, do you think you can build that over here instead? Can you do the same oh, thing you were just is over here? I can't see your name. Oh, um, I'm the one moving up and down at the at the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, can you see? So, so it just needs to be not floating off in the distance. Yeah, um, because that might be too much of a walk. You know what I mean for the player. Oh yeah, I was just doing it over there because I didn't want to screw anything up over there by accident. Can I select a bunch of this and move it? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Move all that, dude. <laughs> I don't have a marquee selection. Oof. Yeah. Okay, well. I'm not even sure how I would do that. Oh, God. In which case, I'm not going to touch the stuff someone else put over here, but I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. Yeah, let me let me grab the triggers. and. That would be a pretty useful feature to add, though. Yeah, having, like, a marquee selection. Actually, Zombie zombie suggested a, uh, um, Zombie suggested that there would be a way to make prefabs, and you can just bring prefabs yeah, in. Uh, that would be the best. I think... I, granted, I don't this know. This is a cool weapon. I think the easiest shit. way to do it as like short term would just be a select tool, and you just select each individual object, and then you can make the marquee later. Yeah, or something like that, maybe. Yeah. Something so you know you can do it real quick, and then people can do it, and then while you're working on the marquee, there's an option. Yeah. The only thing that that bugs me is how chaotic things can be when you're building with so many people. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it becomes people management. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, um, what if, like, something you have selected uh, suddenly becomes, you know, like, somebody deletes it or moves it or something? <laughs> uh, you may have to put checks in for certain things, then. 
I don't think we should put something on this wall right here. I think we should have a vista. We should have, not a vista, but uh, we should have a wall that just goes across this way and kind of, and this is, this should well, just be terrain. You accidentally delete something in a different, uh, Why you can't you accidentally can't? delete actors when deleting meshes and geometry. Yeah. See, this right here, I think what we need to do is we need to have um, a tall wall up over here, like one of these tall walls, and we need to have it go across oh, and kind of accentuate this area. And we need to break, we need to make sure that this area funnels the player a little bit. Because if you think about it just from a player's perspective, that's another thing too. Um, it's really a good idea to, you know, uh, go into like regular, you know, walk around mode and just how would you feel if you were a player right now? Like, you know what I mean? Like if, if you entered this area, would it feel like you're fighting monsters? Would it feel like, you know what I mean? To get a, a good idea of it. Like, where would you go next? Do you know? Can you tell? Where you would the way I do that for everything is I just, you know, act like I'm playing the game. Bang, bang. Do, yeah, do, do, yep, do, I do that. Yep. Up here. Do, 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 do. Yep, I do that. Why am I stuck in, like, a text mode now? Every time I press E, it brings up a text box. Oh, um, there's a, there's a way to chat with people. Hold on a second. Actually, let me test this. Hello, everyone. I don't see it. There you I go. See the, I see oh, the I see chat. It. I don't see the box for me to type in. You have to be in E mode in order in order for it to, um, edit mode basically. Or not E mode. It's not edit mode. It's a what's the best way to call it? It's it's mouse mode. Oh, press press the E button. Yeah. How yeah. Do I get out of that though. Lock at home. I can't I can't do build mode uh, or anything while I'm in uh, this. Okay, press, so press Tappy and then hit, hit uh. Oh, there we go. Hit one, two, or three. You know one of your modes. Mesh actor players. Oh, I see. Yeah. So when so you can turn off the load. It, like, when okay. I was, you know, pretending I was shooting things, running around, pew pew, I tapped one so I wouldn't accidentally have the thing floating in my face. Yeah, I'm thinking that this wall right here should never be visible anyway. And what we should have here is something a little bit different. I think it should be... Well, I was just trying to sing it. Um, yeah. So far, everything's pretty much in place. Like, it's... It's almost ready for me to uh, take things to the next step. Uh, there's some bugs, though, for sure. But uh, at this moment, I think I might need to take a break. <laughs> Taking a moment to grab yeah. Yeah. Good. Especially yeah, having the chronic break. Rest the mind. Yeah. Out. Damn you, chronic. I... <laughs> so I, I did take down a, I did take down a lot of notes and stuff. Chronic mentioning nachos. This was, this didn't was help. pretty fun. <sighs> oh yeah, did you ever come up with a way to uh to, for the person to to get out of the key cage thing? Oh, uh, the key cage Jesus. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you were talking about uh, how they were gonna get back down to the main area once they got yeah. the key. Yeah. Um. Basically, there's just another locked door here. I'll show you. You can see. So follow me. Oh, wait, you can't see me. But. I, I'm pretty sure this is you. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, that right there, um, when you grab this key, this is a red door right here if you look at it. And yeah. that, that lets you come back into an area that you've already visited. So, when you come down okay. this way. And, and these, then, these monsters you haven't killed yet, right? Um, sometimes it might depend depending on what the player does. I'm thinking most players are going to peek up that way no matter what and those mon and those zombies will come down the stairs and they'll be killed they're they're simple enemies and stuff so but you know if the player didn't go this way then they'll fight they'll end up face facing the zombies when they come out this door for sure all right i see how it's gonna work cool this will be Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. I don't not not for a first person shooter like level editor. But uh yeah, this is gonna be like a regular thing, so as I'm building the entire episode, it's gonna be like this. I'm gonna build a whole I wanna build a whole episode um called Death Spiral. That's this is the this is actually the first map of Death Spiral, by the way. So Yeah. So this is the very first map the player's gonna play on. If if you're playing the custom maps, yeah, this will be oh, the I first see. custom level. 
It, now, these levels are designed in such a way where it's like Hexen. I don't know, um, where you can you can go from one map back and then come back from the other one. So, like, you can grab the blue key in one map and then open the blue door and in the map that you were already in before. So you can go back and forth between levels and stuff. So, um... You know what this kind of reminds me of, though? Um, did you ever play Time Splitters? Sounds familiar. Yeah, actually, I think I remember what you're talking about. Oh my god. All right, so Time Splitters 2 had a level editor that was actually a lot like this. Hmm. Uh, you could you could set a, like like you could you could make it uh, like a PvP map or you could have it like objective base where you have to like capture a point or you have to like get a key or something like that. And uh, yeah, I mean that that's probably the closest thing to this I can think of. I've never seen it with multiplayer though. Did did Time Splitter no, have? No, 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 no. It did. It definitely didn't have multiplayer. But... Actually, I've I've had people like outright laugh at me when suggesting the idea of having a multiplayer level editor. What? Yes. Yeah. Why? It's like, why would you want to do that? Yeah, why would you want to edit levels with your friends? Come on, what a bunch of weirdos, man. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Get alive. Oh, I, I swear, it's so it, yeah. Like to me, to me, like this is the first time I've actually argued. I'd be like, "Well, this is actually better than you guys think it is," and it'd be like, uh, "Whatever, it's a wasted time. Don't just mess up your map." Uh, well, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend looking up uh, the Time Splitters Two uh, map oh. editor. I'll check out Time Splitters. Get the fuck out of here! I mean, there's been a surprising amount of creativity that's happened in the like what hour, half an hour, whatever. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought of building this area that Chris built. I wouldn't have thought of that. Like, I, I was actually, like, I don't, I have no idea what I would actually do over here. And, like, Chris, like, got, like, a fucking slime room with a vending machine on the back end. That can also even be used <sighs> for an area that we come back to later for, like, you know what, you know what I mean? Guy. Damn, Chris built this whole room, dude? Yeah, he, he, he even had the idea of having the pipe broken so that there's, like, slime coming down in the bottom. Damn, man. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. I'm like, I'm like looking at this, and I'm like, whoa. All right, yeah, yeah. It started off as like a square, like room, and then turned into this. See, that's why I feel like that this totally proves that this is a natural thing, a natural creative process to have other people kind of on here. Oh yeah, imagine, imagine if this is the full game, and like we're also fighting monsters and stuff, and like the monster positioning, how refined the monsters are gonna be, and. Like, um, think about how polished things can get in a situation where, like, everybody's, like, testing and rinsing and repeating all together at the same time and, like, giving input. Dude, like, this is, to me, this is, it was always, like, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And I've actually argued with people and they, they would say, no, this isn't, and I'm like, you gotta be crazy not to think that this would actually be a good thing. So far, we only had one crash, though. So far. So far. Yeah. Walk on wood. <laughs> well, let's see. So we've been on for about three hours. And there hasn't really... But I'm hungry. I want some... I mean, I've been having, like, little glitches with... I think because I messed with altering the position of stuff so much... When I would spawn objects, it was just kind of like off to the right or something weird. Yeah, that happens a lot. Um, the trim, sometimes objects are actually built on purpose so that um, you don't even have to do any. Like the trim pieces are actually built so that they're on the edges of the of the cube. Here, I can give I mean, it. it was off to the right side of my character. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe that was like a replication thing. I mean... It wasn't rep it was a brand new mesh that I was putting down. Huh. So let's see. Actually so, I'm gonna build something there. Okay. Just a dungeon that was pointless. Other than loot. That's not pointless. Loot 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 is uh, pretty important. Yeah, yeah, sometimes. Can I get to the next level, dude? Actually I might start. I'm playing sniper class too, so I'm just like fucking struggling. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe maybe it's one of those things where you struggle early on and then it becomes
becomes OP as fuck later. <laughs> you know. I mean, I can take mobs out pretty easily. It just, like, I gotta be on my shit. Or if it's anything like Dark Souls, then you have the one class that you play, and then all the other classes you die on because you can't play. Some more to find your fucking food, man. <laughs> no. No. This can't be the way we die out in this harsh zombie world. <laughs> Damn it. That guy Barney says, what are you making? Hick, it's a game, but what? First person shooter. It's a, uh, it's a first person looter shooter multiplayer. Um, but we're building a map for a single, for a single player first person shooter, a uh, looter shooter. Um, God, it's confusing because there's two games going on at the same time. Multiplayer map editing for a single player game. <laughs> Multiplayer map editing for a single player game, yes. It's a game called Revulsion. It's on sale right now on, on Steam. But uh, we're using the... Yeah, uh, Barney used followed. Thanks for the follow. So yeah, I constructed a uh, a multiplayer level editor and uh, plan to utilize it a lot for a lot of stuff. I'm going to be building a new episode for my game, Revulsion. Um, and then it'll eventually be the basis for which I use to make a, uh, a sort of like um, a new first person shooter that'll be more along the lines of a fully multiplayer game. That guy Barney says that is godly. I may just have to get it now. Please, please get it if you can. Thank you. Do you need a link? Yeah, um, also too, uh, the level editor is a separate download, but it, uh, you'll be able to, when I do the next update, you'll be able to actually fly around and check out this level and see it for yourself, like what we built and stuff. And I'm going to be doing more live streams because it's just going to be basically yeah, at like... At the moment, you could call the editor a uh, private beta. Yeah. I'd say so. It's more of a private alpha. Send a link. Here soon. It's a private alpha, actually. Because it's... Well, yeah, whatever. but you're, you're right. Yeah, but you're right, though. Yeah, yeah you got it. So we oh, never so built that ambush area. But yes, technically alpha is more accurate. Um, I never did build that ambush. I, I, I'll actually do the ambush though. Like, that guy Barney says not. I need to get my paycheck in the bank already. Damn. Oh yeah, I never really did uh, refine the gameplay in this uh, little room here. So like. What actually happens when you're in this area is kind of an important okay. question. I like this detail. The zombie put that up on the ceiling, and that's actually pretty cool. I might use that more. I like that. Are you building stuff over here? Or are you adding more detail? Oh, yeah, you are. Oh, shit. That's a good idea, dude. I didn't even think of putting pipes there. Shit. Oh. You piped it I'm up, man. Trying, I'm trying to make the, the world kind of like pop a little more. He's laying yeah. the pipe. He's laying the pipe. Laying Got the it. Pipe. Damn. Just little details here and there. Yeah, and yeah. If you don't well, like I mean, it, just tell me. No, 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 no. I'm being, I'm being serious. This is like one of the, um, this is one of the, literally one of the first things the player will see when playing the custom maps is this view right here, right? So like, the more pretty this is, the better. Yeah. And that. That was just like a really great when idea, they dude. see this, they'll say, God, why did I buy this? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they'll, they'll be like, oh, cringe. There's crates. Oh, so much cringe. Look at those pipes. <laughs> I know Are they overcompensating for something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I have a big enough pipe. I need to get more pipes. I think pipes get a lot of attention. I'm actually kind of surprised the pipes get so much attention. There, there needs to be like a variety of pipes. I'm almost guaranteeing like... I'm going to have to have like a thick pipe, a medium pipe, a long pipe, a curved pipe. <laughs> Are we still talking about pipe Wait, castles? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the 90 degree left turn. 
Dat Galani <laughs> says detail makes a game amazing. You have to make that an Easter egg. Try to look out for that. My game failed because of detail.